Guys, I am back in the kitchen with none other than Kira from KBC. <laughs> so Kira is going to be helping me today make delicious ginger collie rice stir fry. So Kira, you're some woman for prepping your own lunches. Yeah, I prep my lunch every day, but it's the same thing over and over. Same thing. Okay, so today over I'm going to be teaching you a new recipe yeah. to make, and you can make this in minutes. So what we're going to use first is we have some cauliflower, uh, just some washed cauliflower. Uh, I have taken the stem off, the leaves off, and just chopped it into florets. So I'm going to rice this cauliflower. And for those of you who don't know how to rice cauliflower, you're going to watch me. I'm going to just pop it into kind of a, a fairly big food processor. And we're going to blitz it until we get that nice rice consistency. Okay, so we want our cauliflower just in a really nice kind of small consistency, quite similar to rice. It's going to be really nice and easy to fry and it makes the perfect doppelganger for a rice stir fry. Okay, Kira, I have a few jobs for you to do. So for this recipe, you can use salmon, beef, chicken, whatever you like, but we're going to use tofu today. So do you cook with tofu at all? Actually, never. Okay, well, yeah, this is great. You're getting loads of first experiences today. So I'm going to grab you a knife and I want you to chop it up just into nice, small little chunks for me. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have our cauliflower rice done here. I'm going to get grating my carrot. So in the stir-fry there's loads of things packed full of flavour. Um, so Kira, what is your go-to recipe that you seem to be making over and over again? <laughs> Every single week it's salad based, so just like spinach, yeah. chopped up peppers, chopped up tomato, chopped up cucumber, and then I mix up the meat so it might be like a chicken fillet, a turkey burger, something like that. But it's very basic and very Fairly bland. boring, okay. <laughs> yeah. And do you ever get lunch out then? Do you um, go out for lunch quite a bit? Because you're in a really good area for food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not that often actually. Okay. Yeah, and our canteen's actually pretty good as well. But Your canteen <coughs> is amazing. I've been in there a few times. I am blown away. You kind of like, you can be very healthy in your job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great, isn't it? There. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to get this show on the road and start cooking. So the first thing we do is we're going to add a little bit of oil to our pan. We're going to wait till it gets nice and hot. And then we're going to add in. So you, if you're using salmon here, beef, chicken, it's going to really vary depending on how long it's going to take to cook. With the tofu, I'm going to sear it for about two to three minutes so it's all nice golden brown, constantly stirring to make sure it's really even. It'll be kind of the same depending on how small you chop up your salmon. But for chicken and beef, just make sure it's cooked really, really well. So we're going to pop in our tofu. She's a great job cutting it up here. Where did you get the tofu? Uh, you can pick it up in pretty much most supermarkets. Yeah. Um, you know, Super Value has a great yeah. range. You can get it in jars, you can get it in blocks and just dice it up. It is so handy and I use it loads all the time for kind of just making really quick and easy lunches, you know. Yeah. I also make a delicious tofu satay. Oh, you guys need to check that out. So you're going to give that a little bit of a stir around mm -hmm. and you're just going to make sure it gets, it's getting all nice and golden brown around the edges. I'm going to get just grating a little bit of my ginger. The ginger in this recipe is going to give a really nice kick and You'll see there's going to be a little bit of sweetness added in just to balance it all out. So, are you excited for Wellfest this year? So excited. Yeah, who are you excited to go and see? Um, I really loved actually the Happy Pair last year. They were yeah. so engaged. Ooh, so Happy Pair! Yeah. Um, gosh, I don't know. And I'm just excited as well. It's going to be in such a big venue. There's going to be so much yeah, going on. So much more going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So not sure I how know to there's prioritize. like a whole new space, a cycling space. There's a new yeah. space just dedicated for mums. So um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be weird that it's in a new venue, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot more. I hope a lot more like food to nibble on and yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so see. excited to come back this year and do another demo. I think yeah. a highlight for me last year was doing the food demo with Joe Wicks. That was brilliant. Yeah, yeah that was, was so really much good. Fun. And also, yeah. like he's a huge like food here to a lot of us, you know, other yeah. food bloggers. So. Being up there with him was so funny and he actually yeah. did the full Joe Wicks thing where he was like mid your trees and throwing yeah. them all in so um, yeah it was a really really fun fun thing so I'm, I'm going to be all up on stage alone this year. Are you not doing anything with him this year no? Um, well I'm going to be on a stage with a few other people and I love yeah. that because I yeah. think it's like you know you get so much out of it and I love yeah. asking questions and things so okay we're doing well with our tofu. It's kind of getting a little bit golden. Uh, tofu takes a little, little bit longer to colour, but we're doing just perfect there. So now we're going to add in, we're going to throw in our carrots. Just some grated carrots. We're going to toss in our ginger and some sesame seeds. So the sesame seeds are going to get really nice and golden and toasted here. So I'm going to just make a little space for them in the middle and just pop them in. 
It actually smells amazing already. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be so, so good. And this is really a recipe you can make your own. You can add your favorite things into it. Um, and of course, when it comes to the protein, it's all up to you what you want to put on it. So I'm gonna grab some of my other things I'm gonna get ready. So to top it off, we have some fresh scallions, a bit of lime, and this super delicious and easy dressing. So you're giving that a good stir. How are you looking? Yeah, I think, I think it looks good. Good, good. So we're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes just to make sure all the seeds and even the carrots are getting that nice golden cook all around the edges. So for our sauce, we have some soy sauce or tamari. So tamari is a gluten-free soy sauce option, a little bit lower in sodium. Uh, we have some sesame seed oil, which is gonna give that really nice kind of Asian kick to it. And of course, a little bit of maple syrup, just to kind of balance out all the flavors and give us a lovely bit of sweetness. So very simple, what I'm gonna do is just pour them all into a glass or jar and give them a little stir. So we're gonna add this towards the end, but this is the dressing that ties it all together. And what I would recommend, if you are making this for your lunchtime, yeah. I always think it's best to keep the dressing separate in a jar and okay. add it just before you eat it. Because you know sometimes with dressing, especially if their sauces yeah. can get quite soggy in a lunchbox, yeah. yeah. so bring that jar, keep it with you, and it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be refrigerated either, so you don't have to worry about that. So we're getting on. It's looking really nice. It smells delicious. Yeah, it actually smells great. Okay, we're going to toss in some. I'm going to steal the spoon on you. Yeah. We're going to toss in our cauli rice. And cauli rice is such a fantastic substitute. You know, if you're looking for to add in maybe a little bit more veg in your diet or a low carb option, maybe on an off day from training, it's a really nice way to get that in. So we're going to cook the cauli for about two to three minutes just to kind of get rid of that raw taste. Um, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. It's going to absorb the sauce really, really well and get a really nice cake of ginger from it. Okay, we're going to turn it down the heat, turn it off completely, and we're going to just pour our delicious dressing over this. It's really going to tie everything together and the collier rice is going to absorb it and it's going to be absolutely delicious. So once you have your dressing poured on, just give it a really nice stir. It's going to turn a really nice golden colour. It smells so good, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it oh. like. You know, if you come to work with this, everyone's going to be so jealous. <laughs> so this serves both of us because, you know, we don't like sharing, you know. <laughs> so we're going to have, have a portion each. <laughs> and as I said before, if you guys are making this for your lunch, make sure you keep the dressing just separate in a jar and just wait to put it on just before you have it. So we're going to top this off with a few of my favourite things to tie all those flavours together. We're going to have some lime. What are your favourite things to top off? Do I you do that? <gasps> I'm <laughs> loving the squeeze of lime. It's for stir fries and curries, it's so important. It ties all the flavours together so well. Okay, so we have our lime here. We're going to use some spring onion. So, a very important note I have to ask here because, you know, this is a number one tip for a female going to... Well, fast. What are you going to wear? What <laughs> what fitness leggings are you going to wear? Because it is fitness <laughs> legging essential. Like seriously, I walk in and I'm always like, it's like online shopping. You go to and you're like, yeah, yeah actually, that is so Where's true. From? It yeah. is so so true. Yeah, I actually remember. I think last year the food medic was there and everyone was stopping her asking her where she got her her gym. It's so funny because you could do I could do like an hour long demo. I'm like, anyone have any questions? And people are like. Where'd you get gym pants? I'm like, really, guys? <laughs> I just showed you how to make loads of recipes. <laughs> so um, finally, topping off with some spring onions, really nice bit of lime, and some fresh coriander. And there you have a very simple and easy ginger stir fry, which you can make your very, very own. Kira, thank you so much for joining me for the mm -hmm. Well Good content. All a part of Wellfest, and we'll hopefully see you guys at the festival.